Hey, Coach, thanks for taking the time. We'll get started with Dave Zangaro and then Les Bowen. Hey, Dave, good morning. Uh, we saw Jake miss that 52-yarder um, since the start of 2018. I think he's 5 for 13 from 50-plus. I know that's kind of an arbitrary number, but uh, it seems kind of concerning. Is it concerning for you? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not concerned at all with Jake. I think, uh, you know, you can paint any picture you want. I think, obviously, uh, this year he hasn't connected on as many as we'd like to connect on from that 50-yard range. He is 100% from all of his kicks underneath 52 yards. Uh, I think there's a lot of guys that would like to be right there right now. Um, I think what I look at is more globally. When you go back in time and look at his numbers overall, his kicks at 53 yards or less, or 50 to 53 yards, I think he's hitting at about 60 plus percent on those kicks right there. I think uh, last year the league average in that area is around the 58s or something like that. Uh, so I think uh, his numbers are kind of where, where you know, probably a lot of guys are uh, in the league right around average in that 50-plus yard area. Obviously, we'd like to be a little bit better than that. But uh, if you're saying it's real concerning, I don't, I don't have the same concerns. Um, but uh, like I said, if you just narrow that sample size down to this year, sure, we missed on the 57. We've had a couple misses that were shorter than that. We made, I think, the 54 or 5. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have no concerns with him. I think the other thing I look at is, like, his his uh, kicks under 50 yards on his career. I think he's right now hitting at, like, just under 90% or right at about 90%, uh, which is a really high number right there. So I feel really good about where he's at. Um, he, I think he's, you know, on track to have a really good year. I think the high, those high long-distance field goal kicks at 50-plus and – some of those even deeper than that are a little bit, uh, they skew the numbers right now for him. But uh, I got no concerns at all for Jake. Okay, Les Bowen and then Zach Berman. Hey Dave, following up on that, the, the miss uh, Sunday, um, what did you see? It was to the right again as the one was in Pittsburgh. It looked like he had the wind with him. Uh, what happened? Yeah, no, uh, obviously it's unfortunate that we didn't get that uh, done on that play there. At the end of the day, just push the ball just a little bit to the right. I think, like I said a week ago, the further back you get, the less margin there is for error and the more perfect you got to be. And we we're off just a little bit right there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously it's unfortunate. I'm not trying to stand up here and say um, that, you know, we're, we're pleased with missing some of those kicks uh, at the same time. I certainly am not going to stand up here and say I'm not or I'm displeased with where Jake is in his career and his development. I think he's on a really good track. I think the guy's a really good player, really talented, and he's going to continue to get better. I think as you look back in history and look at some of the kickers who've kicked in the past, I mean, all their numbers fluctuate a little bit year to year. Some of that's based off where those kicks are from. Some of it's based off the weather. Some of these guys are kicking indoors. That skews the numbers probably the other way a little bit more. So there's a lot that goes into all that stuff. But uh, like I said, I got no concerns with Jake. Feel real good about him. And uh, I think he's a heck of a player. And I think he'll have a great rest of the year here for us. Just to squeeze in one more real quick. I, yep. I was looking through the binoculars at uh, like the first kickoff and stuff like that. And I saw all these guys that I've never seen before. Uh, you really, with all the injuries, you've had to incorporate people in that, that hadn't been playing on your units. And it looked like it had an impact, frankly, Sunday. Uh, you know, how hard is it to get those guys up to speed? And, uh, you know, you're still going to be in that situation this week, I guess, right? Yeah, no, I think, uh, I mean, that's life in the National Football League. Obviously, we've we've had a lot of injuries throughout the last handful of years, but it just gives another opportunity for somebody to go up. I mean, Rudy Ford went down, Kayvon Wallace ended up playing in his position, did a really nice job for us. Kayvon went down, we had Butler come into the game. I thought he did some positive things. So I think, you know, anytime somebody goes down, it creates an opportunity for other guys. At the end of the day, for us, our job is to do the best we can with the 11 guys that we got and get the job done well enough to win football games. We've obviously come up short with that as a team, um, and we're working hard to get that fixed. Uh, I know these guys give everything they got. I'm really proud of the effort and how they work and how they go out there and practice and train. Um, so I think we'll get better and better. Uh, obviously, the more reps we get, the more experience we get. But, uh, 
you know, obviously we're disappointed. We haven't won um, as many games as we'd like to, but at the same time, I can't question any of these guys' effort and all that stuff. Um, we just got to find a way to get the job done, and uh, these guys are really fighting and working hard at doing that. Thanks. Zach Berman and then Paul Domowitz. Hey, Dave, I, I wanted to follow up on, on Dave's first question because your answer seemed to focus on this year's kicks. But since 2018, he's 5 of 13 that's from 50-plus. That's that's 38%, and that's near the bottom of the league. I mean, there are kickers who've, who've, who've been kicking during that period who are, you know, you know, 66, 70 percent, you know who those kickers are. So why isn't that concerning to you when it's a two plus year sample size? Who? Yeah, no, I I, I wasn't just focused on this year. I was focused okay. on his career and where he's at. So I'm not sure where he got that from, but that's OK. Um, like I said, I'll just repeat what I said. I mean, I think uh, where Jay, I'm really comfortable with Jake. Uh, you might not be, and that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. We can all paint uh, the picture we want with our own brush. Um, you can focus more on this year's 50-plus kicks. Um, but at the end of the day, to me, four kicks is not a huge sample size. I think guys fluctuate from year to year. I think if you go back in history, you'll see that. If you look at guys' 50-plus yard kicks, all 50-yard kicks aren't the same. Some guys are kicking the ball at 50 yards. Some guys are kicking them at 57. Some of those attempts come in, indoors. Some of those attempts come outdoors. And I'm certainly not trying to make excuses up here. Um, so don't take that the wrong way. But I am saying there's a lot of factors and variables that go into it. When I look at his overall numbers, I don't think he's far off average, maybe even a little bit above average for where he's at in his career and his development. I think he's in a really good spot. I think he will continue to get better. I think the trajectory will go up. He's obviously suffered a little bit of a down year on those longer kicks right now so far in this year. He's obviously at 25%. But I think as the future goes, he'll only go better. I think this year that number will improve. I think the more kicks that we have, the better that we'll get. I have the fortune of seeing the guy kick a practice all the time. I got a lot of data on him that some of you guys don't. I'm not going to get into all that stuff, but at the end of the day, I will just tell you emphatically that I feel great about the guy as a player, and you can hold me accountable to that when we look back in history at him and his career. And uh, I got no problems with where I stand on him. I, th I think he's a really good player. He's going to end up having a good year for us. I think he's playing well right now for us, better than the numbers suggest. I think they get skewed a little bit because of the long kicks. Um, and again, I'm not sitting here telling you that we don't want to make those kicks. We certainly do. But I think there's a lot of guys that would like to be 100% uh, underneath 50 yards right now. Um, and he's sitting on that number, too. So he's done some really good things for us. There's some things in some areas he'd like to get better at. Um, I hope that answers your question. I, and I'm not trying to be combative with the whole no, thing, but I, but I am trying to explain the whole picture sure. um, in maybe a little bit better way, or at least in a way that I look at it. Fair enough. Go ahead, Paul, and then Dave. Dave, your, your coverage units probably had their poorest performance Sunday of the season. Uh, three punts that uh, gave them pretty good uh, drive starts and then the Duvernay kickoff return. Common thread there beyond the fact that you're playing with guys, you know, I mean, you're not going to make excuses for what, uh, what Les suggested with the injuries, but I mean, what's going on? Yeah, no, I'll never make excuses. You know, I, when you look at those punts, we had a couple of punts that didn't net as good as we want to. Uh, I didn't think we were as consistent in the punt phase as we have been in the past. I think our punt team has operated on a really efficient level. I think we're netting 44.9 yards a punt. I think that's like fourth in the National Football League in that game when you average it out because we did have a 46-yard net and we had a 55-yard net. Our net on the day was 42 yards. I think their net on the day was 43. So there was a yard difference between the two teams when he traded punts. Um, we look at those numbers there. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm, again, I'm not gonna stand here and say I'm arguing that we did everything we wanted to do. Like I said, we were not as consistent as we wanted to be. That being said, I think there's a lot of teams in this league that would take the nets that we've had. Uh, we have a high standard here. We've been playing really well. Um, and uh, we didn't we didn't have as good of a day as we wanted to in that area. On the kickoff cover, though, we had the one return against us. It came out 37-yard line right there. That's what we look at more than anything is the drive start. 
Um, they executed. They did a nice job. I think they're number one in the National Football League in drive start after that play. Um, we knew we were going up against a good unit. Those guys had a bunch of really good core players, blockers. They had a talented returner. Um, we didn't probably fit things up quite as well as we could have across the board. Um, I think those guys can play a little bit better on that play. I think they know that and would say the same thing. I think the more reps and opportunities we get, the more experience these guys get, the better they're going to get. But uh, I think in that phase of the game, I think at the end of the day, I think we started with the ball on average at the 25. I think they started at the 28. And those are things we do look at for field position. Uh, we take field position seriously on special teams here. Um, we look at it in a lot of different ways. Uh, I don't think, you know, at the end of the day, we didn't play quite as well as we wanted to, but I don't, I don't know that the numbers are terrible in any phase either. Dave and then John. Hey, Dave, I wanted to ask about Davion Taylor. Uh, I know he's still a developing player, but has his speed been as advertised? Uh, yeah, Davion, uh, he's done a really nice job. I think, you know, a few weeks ago I came up here and told you he had played core, uh, two, two core teams for us. And the last game he played four, four core teams for us. He was on all four, punt, punt return, kick cover, kick return. He's just getting better and better. The more he plays, the better he gets. Uh, he's obviously a younger guy. He doesn't have as much experience. I think that's well documented, obviously, with his high school football and, and college and stuff. But... Um, but he's really doing a nice job for us, and he's coming along. He had a nice, nice, real nice block on our first kickoff return in the game. Um, so I would say that his game's coming along in all areas, and uh, we're really excited about him. He does have a lot of speed. We're hoping to see some of that Thursday night here. John and then Jeff. Hey, Dave. Uh, uh, Doug has had a lot of success since he's been here. You guys have never lost on Thursday night football. What are those short weeks? Uh, for you from a preparation standpoint, and also the Giants uh, haven't had a lot of team success, and I know you're not a fan of those outside analytics, but people say they're playing pretty well on special teams. How? how what have you seen from them? Yeah, no, uh, as far as the Thursday night games, I mean, I really enjoy Thursday night games. Uh, obviously, my body's not as beat up as some of these players, so it's probably a little bit different for them. Um, but for me, I really enjoy it. Uh, both teams are under the same circumstances. You're both coming off a Sunday game. you got to hurry and, and get ready. Um, and so, But you got to hustle up, get ready, and, and get ready to play the next game. That's always enjoyable for us, for me. Um, I like that. But uh, in terms of the Giants, yeah, man, these guys do a great job on special teams. They, uh, obviously, their head coach, Joe Judge, a guy I got a lot of respect for. Um, we've had some good battles against each other while he was in New England, and uh, he does a really nice job. He obviously understands the nuances of the game on special teams really well. And then they got two great coaches up there, and Thomas McGahee and Tom Quinn. Those guys are exceptional at what they do. Um, and then at the end of the day, a lot of it comes down to um, the players that they got to work with. They got some talented players. They've had some good returners. Peppers has done a really nice job on punt return for them. In the early part of the year, Golden Tate's come in and, and, uh, and carried that on for them on their punt return. Um, but I would say that uh, across the board, these guys, uh, they got a, a good roster. They got good coaches. They do a nice job of uh, putting these guys in good position. And uh, we got our work cut out for us come Thursday night, but our guys are excited to go. We'll wrap it up with Jeff and then Zach. Uh, Dave, I was wondering what, what went into the decision on the onside kick uh, to reverse it there, especially when you know both sides, the players clearly knew knew it was coming. Uh, I guess I'm confused. The decision to reverse it. What? what well, do you mean Jake was that? aiming one way, and then he then he turned and kicked it the other way. Uh, yeah, uh, with any kind of kick like that, I think the only thing you're trying to do is skew the numbers a little bit one way. Sometimes teams overshift based off the direction of the kicker's facing. Maybe you try to skew the numbers a little bit or get them to take a little bit less off that side. Um, so that was kind of the face one way, end up trying to hit it back the other. Uh, I thought their guy, I thought their guy get, did a really nice job digging that ball out of there. He went and attacked it, um, did a nice job of giving it out of there. I thought Jake did a nice job of giving us a chance. Uh, you know, the challenge on that play right now is obviously with the stationary start for the kick cover team, trying to get 10 yards before the ball gets there. 
Um, I thought he did a good job of playing that ball short and uh, giving us a chance to get in there and get it. They ended up digging us out on one of those blocks. And uh, their guy, I thought, came across and made a nice play on the ball. But uh, I thought we gave ourselves a chance. Obviously, we want to try to get the job done. It's obviously a difficult play. Go ahead, Zach. It looked like you had Huntley back there for a, a, a kickoff return at, at the end. Is that a role he can uh, build upon going forward? Yeah, sure. Um, we did put him back there for the last two, I believe it was. Um, obviously, Miles Sanders went down. Boston Scott was up. Obviously, um, Boston Scott's role had changed in the game. We put Huntley back there. We got a lot of confidence in him. Um, I'm excited to see him play. Obviously, you and I both know his college career and um, how well he had done in New Mexico State. Um, so anyway, anytime, anytime a young guy gets an opportunity to play, it's always exciting. You don't totally know what you're going to get, but uh, you're excited to see what it looks like, and uh, we're excited to see what it looks like with him. We'll find out kind of more about our roster situation as we go this week. Obviously, it's a short week, but there's a chance he could be back there again. If he does get back there, I'll be excited to see him. Thanks, Coach. All right, appreciate it.